Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 47 of Earthbound. Would you look at this? We even make little weird footsteps. Ness, you've stood on the eight power spots of the Earth. From these, you've created Magicant, the realm of your mind. In Magicant, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of those feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. Magicant is brilliant. <laughs> this is the realm of Magicant, which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Ness. Every time you talk to someone, it changes color, and it's really amazing. It uses color to illustrate just feelings, man. Hello, Everdread. Ness! Maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. Well, it's gone from our minds. Hello, duck. Chee 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 chee. When it was a quiet small town, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're back to normal colors now. Hello, Flowey. Look at the sun. Face the sun and smile. Yeah, you just say the same things, do you? Yeah, you do. And that long pause in the text just basically indicates, you know, changing color. Hello, Mom. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Fiend. I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be small and weak. Oh, Ness, aren't you tired from traveling on your adventure? Yeah, not really. I'm good. Yeah, that's right. You can't even think about being tired at a time like this. Be strong. The pink indicates love, which is amazing. Brother Ness! The Sea of Eden is at the end of Magicant. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything I can do for you? So you can use the Escargot Express if you want here. But, you know, I don't need it. I'm good. And yeah, see, this is why I wanted to get all of our important items onto Ness. Because you're in this by yourself. You're in Magic Hand all alone. This is Ness's mind. So obviously, all of this is on you. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me. But you heard my song in the back of your mind. God, don't you just hate that? Like, if you ever... If you ever, like, go to a place... Or, like, look up something on YouTube... And you just forget what it was. Like, it's on the back of your mind, but you just forget it. Like, oh my god, Magic Hand really does exist. <laughs> anyway, um, here you have the shop in your mind. Um, you can get yourself an Earth Pendant, but Magic Puddings are really good for you. Because they cure PP, and you definitely, definitely want the PP. Um, I'm gonna see if the uh, C Pendant that we have does anything better. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we're gonna sell that knight pendant. And, uh... Actually, you know what? You know what, Tracy? We're gonna go for your services. I don't need to remove absolutely everything, but I do want to at least uh... store some stuff. Um, we don't really need the town map anymore. It's been in our inventory since the beginning. But we don't really need it anymore. Um, we have two item spots left. Exit mouse. Well, our lock is full anyway, so even if we could, we can't. So, we're just gonna get the earth pendant. And then... We are gonna... Go to the store? <laughs> actually, no. That's actually worse for him. What the heck am I doing? 
Uh, well, looks like I just learned my factoid for the day. Uh, C Pendant is better and probably better recommended. So we're just going to sell that thing. And uh, we are going to uh, buy Magic Puddings. Is it a deal? I like this guy. He He's like, what do you want now? What do you want to buy? <laughs> that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a uh, very interesting dude. Magic pudding. So this thing recovers about 40 PP. So that's good. That is very, very good. If you want to store it with Tracy and have an unlimited supply of magic puddings then go right ahead and do it. You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. <laughs> See, I love this. I really love this. Even Metal Gear Solid 3 may have, may have taken inspiration. You destroyed my pride. Ah! <laughs> God, even Master Belch. Still weird. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. So like I said, this place is really brilliant. Thank you for remembering me. It's a little snowman that we built. Look at that. Remember him? I clearly do. <laughs> and once again, this is just showing the proof that Magic Hand is... is so strange, and yet... it's so amazing at the same time. Oh, and by the way, no, this is not the same Magic Hand that was in Earthbound Beginnings. Because the Magic Hand in that game is different. And uh, by extension, the Magic Hand that's in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Smash for 3DS is based on the, on the Earthbound Beginnings Magic Hand rather than the uh, Magic Hand that's in Earthbound. You know, despite having Earthbound related stuff in it. Like Lumine Hall is in there. Um the tough the tough mobile sprouts and all that good stuff. I like you to take your time. Cause this country will disappear when you wake up. And yeah, 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 yeah. I heard all that. Thanks. Peace! We haven't played together lately. And you just say, kya kya. Fresh! Stay fresh? Ness! Pokey took my snack! I believe you, dude. Yeah! Long time no see, Ness. Where's the comma after C? Wah, Ness, let's play! La 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 la. My name's Nico. Let's run and sing and dance. Have you actually noticed that none of these kids, aside from Picky, are named? Well, this little girl, Nico, is actually very special. Because the localization director... Um... I forget his name. But I'm pretty sure he'll be credited once we get to the credits anyway. But Nico is particularly special because... The localization director worked very hard on this game. Like, he didn't miss a single day of his, you know, work translating Earthbound and trying to localize it. The only day that he missed was the day that his daughter Nico was born. And as a special thank you, the developers and localization team thought it would be a very good idea to name this girl after the localization manager's daughter. And, yeah, that's a very cute story. That is so cute. Yeah, and Nico actually did play Earthbound eventually, so that's really cool. That is so cool. Developers really care, you know? Anyway, here's a PSI Caramel, but I'm not really willing to uh, waste any items at this point. I'd rather just keep all the items lately. Or rather, just keep all my items like not what? What the fuck am I saying? We had fun one snowy day. 
I melted, but I'm still real in your memory. Yeah, that's one of the deepest things. You know what? Magicant is... Mm, it's very deep. I'll just say this right now. Magicant is very deep. Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness... Well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? I... Don't really think we can. But... At least in here you're trying to make an effort, buddy. Yeah, like, magic can't inside Ness's mind. Just... Wow, just... Again... He breaks the silent character, the silent protagonist stuff here. This is where Ness becomes, you know, without really saying anything, a character all into his own because he's unsure about the future. He wants to make friends with everybody. He even considers his neighbor. He even wants so hard to make Pokey his friend, but Pokey's just done so much stuff to hinder his progress on saving the world that, you know, outside they may not be friends, but on the inside, Ness really does think that Pokey wants to make an effort to be his friend, and I think that's just brilliant. Without saying too much or without really going really, really deep, Earthbound is simple, but it's brilliant. In here, you may have noticed these guys from Super Smash Bros. Here are the Flying Men. I'm your courage. I will follow you here in Magicant. My name? Let's say Flying Man. Flying Man! <laughs> flying Man. But anyway, these guys will act as your party members. You can only take one at a time. And, uh, yeah. They will act as your party members for the road ahead to the Sea of Eden. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. He's dead in our minds. But he did but he did give us a start to this, you know, whole thing, so we got to thank him for that. Ness, I still feel the pain for when you wounded me. <laughs> okay, Manly Fish. Uh Yeah, I agree. But anyway, um, listen to the music really briefly, because this might seem familiar. This music might seem a little bit repetitive to you. Well, it's because it is. And it's basically the game over theme just sped up really fast and a lot more energetic and honestly that's also another brilliant thing they turn the game over screen a theme that you typically don't want to hear into something really really happy and represents you know the strength to go on hello the sea of eden is filled with ultimate intelligence you can't go there unless you're truly ready it's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. A really sure thing. Uh, I highly doubt it will, it will uh, bring me sorrow, but you want to know what it does bring? Literally the most new age music you'll ever hear in a Super Nintendo game. Seriously, listen to this song. Hey, me. I found that cap that you lost. I'm so stupid. There's lots of junk in my backpack at a time like this. Why don't I get rid of something I don't use? 
So, the nest's in here. I don't really get it either, but I feel really bad for dropping the exit mouse. <laughs> but we really don't need exit mice anymore. Bye. You really shouldn't throw the exit mouse. Oh my god. The one thing that I want to throw away, but I can't. Um, I really don't want to throw away my, all my items away, but he gives you the standard baseball cap that Ness had at the beginning. Um, it's just basically there to fill up space. It's nothing really too spectacular, but, you know, it's fine. Here you can get a bag of Dragonite right here, but I already have one. I have like three. So I'm good. But seriously, this music is so relaxing. Like, I never really thought about it before, but once again, I, I have to bring this up because Earthbound is spectacular when it comes to atmosphere. This is perfect atmosphere for the Sea of Eden. This is perfect. Everything in Magic Camp just screams perfection to me, and. We still have a lot more to go. And yeah, I know this video is short, but... You know, I wanted to fill it up with interesting factoids. But before we go, there is one little thing that should be mentioned before we wrap things up for today. In English, Ness wears his PJs. In Japan... He's completely naked. That would have easily turned this into a rated M game these days. <laughs> because, uh, child nudity is, uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's a big fat nope. So, PJs. I mean, I get it. Like, Dragon Ball sort of did this when Goku thought he died during his fight with Frieza. And they showed, like, a naked Vegeta, like, communicating him with his mind, and, like, they're naked, and he's naked. And, like, Ness is naked. So, obviously, you can really imagine why they didn't go with it for the U.S. Too risque, too risque. But, regardless, we have pretty much explored the town of Magicant, which is our last new town. And we've made it to the beginning of the end. Oh boy, it's the beginning of the end, folks. Not the end end, but some form of end. On the next time for Earthbound, we explore the Sea of Eden, and we go into our innermost brain to confront the evil side of our mind. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.